surprised he's still here, to be honest with you. A player with a lot of tools, great arm, great at bats, power, a lot of speed. When you get players here in Indy Ball, after about 30 games, you, you kind of know why they're here. I still don't know why he's here, because he's that good a player. He is Jared Mitchell, a rare athlete who won national championships in both baseball and football. In June of 2009, he was the College World Series MVP for LSU and a first round pick in the MLB amateur draft. With the 23rd selection, the Chicago White Sox select Jared Mitchell. Jared, now 30, plays for the independent league Sugarland Skeeters. Go ahead, drop it on. Trout was taken 25th, but yeah. the Angels also had the 24th pick. Right. So in essence, you were the player selected before Trout. Right. What has that been like for you? It's not something I really think about that much, honestly. I never, never really once looked at it like, oh, they made this mistake, they took me instead of Trout. You really have no control over it, so why sit here and just wreck your brain about it? It can't be an easy thing to be a guy drafted in front of Mike Trout, because we all know Mike Trout's a generational player and one of the best we ever see in our lifetimes. In single A ball, Mitchell put up promising numbers, batting 296 with 12 doubles and a 417 on base percentage. The following spring, he was playing in a Cactus League game and suffered a devastating injury. There was a ball hit to left center-ish, deep. I went back and the jump took me straight into the wall. When I stood up, I really didn't have any feeling like all the way up until my knee. Mitchell tore tendons in his left ankle and on March 16, 2010, he underwent season-ending surgery. It really almost took almost a full two years for it to recover. So I go through the fall league after not even playing a full season and basically get evaluated at 60% of myself and I play a full season at less than 100% of myself. Great diving catch by Mitchell. What a play in left field by Jared Mitchell. Mitchell was released by the White Sox in the spring of 2015, then spent a year in the Angels system before signing with the Double A Yankees in 2016. Right around the, the 14, 15, 16 time was when I really started figuring out and feeling like, all right, I'm getting back to myself. That ball is gone! It's a walk-off solo home run for Jared Mitchell and the Thunder win. Tell us what happens the very next day. So in my mind, I'm like, all right, now we're rolling. And I show up the next day and I get a tap on the shoulder like, hey, um, we're gonna have to release you. That, that right there was honestly probably the most disappointing part of my career. For Jared, it's been 10 cities in 10 years. The last three in independent baseball. It's a journey that has brought him to Sugarland, Texas and obvious questions. Is it still worth it? Do you still have it? Is somebody still looking? Is someone still interested? That whole thing. And it's tough. It is a struggle because it is real. I don't know what people are wanting to see from him. From what I've seen, I mean, I'm not a scout, I'm not running any major league clubs, but I've got a spot for that guy. As he looks back on the past decade, Mitchell has gained another education, one supplied mostly from baseball, and leads to this question. Exactly who is the player selected before Mike Trout? A guy that's learned a lot, grown a lot, still as hardworking as I've ever been, still enjoys life, this game. If you enjoy your time with the people around you, you can be genuinely happy for the guys that are moving on and getting an opportunity. At the same time, still hope that that opportunity happens for you if you're doing what you need to be doing. 